Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Hello to you all and welcome to today's game. And it's Chelsea today against Stoke City. Stoke City and Chelsea. And here is the Chelsea line. Number 13, Thibaut Courtois. Number 28, Azpilicueta. Number 30, David Luiz. Number 24. Here's the Chelsea lineup. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. Gary Cahill starts alongside David Luiz in the heart of the defence. Marcus Alonso starts with Victor Moses in the wide positions. And these are the three forwards who will look to provide the goals. Number three, Marcos Alonso. Number 22, William. And number 10, Kevin Hazard. The Stoke City team, here it is for you. Jack Butland starts in goal. Ryan Shawcross starts with Kurt Zuma in central defence. Jordan Shakiri plays with Hesse out wide. Saido Berahino is the main striker today. Alan, I know this ground has changed since you played here. They squared it off and encapsulated more of the atmosphere. It's probably more intimidating for visiting players than it was in your day. Yeah, it probably is, actually. I mean, it always did have a good atmosphere, but now you could argue it's even better. It's a great place to come and play football, and the pitch is so much better than it used to be in my day. Thank you, there's no doubt there's been a lot of changes in the Chelsea management, but the consistency has been to some extent the players, but of course totally Roman Abramovich, the owner, who's made such a difference to Chelsea. Yeah, I think at times we've um, turned up our nose at the constant change in managers, Martin, but it certainly worked at Stamford Bridge. Lee Mason is today's ref. It's what we've been waiting for. The kick-off, the game is underway. And it's Fletcher. Into the attacking third. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Now William. As a good vision. Marcus Alonso. Defender has to move quickly. Chelsea, tipped by most people to win this match. Now Willian. Good position, they've worked this attack for... In with a chance. Saw the goal and went for it. Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Antonio Conte expecting his striker to be a bit more clinical there. What a chance to put his team ahead. He's used his head there to keep his side in possession. Here's the shot from distance. Couldn't quite keep it down, just over the top. Yeah, just leaning back a touch, got under it. Not bad effort, though. Is he right to take that on, Alan, from that distance? Off target anyway. Well, I've seen him score from these sort of distances before. Not this time, though. Just going wide. Now, William. Well, he could be in. There's one for him to chase in behind. Puts the goalkeeper in the eye. It's in. It's a great start for them. A wonderful goal. And we'll now have to see whether that will change both managers' approach to this game. What a wonderful volley. It's a wonderful ability to have, isn't it? To connect so sweetly. It's all about timing, that volley. And here's the goal again. Chelsea, as expected, have the lead. And it's Fletcher. Jordan Shakiri. Gets his cross in. 
miscued really with the header. Yeah, not known for his heading, and you can see why there with that effort. Here's Fabregas. Could be dangerous. Got the opposition. Eden Hazard. Fabregas. Moses. Shot off. Promising build up until that challenge. Moses. two and they've worked very hard for this it should get them across the line at the end of the match we'll see in truth alan this is what we expected the dominant side and they're showing that on the scoreline yeah we don't always get what we expect but uh, they've been good value here they've played well particularly the strikers Oh, he's got to make a change, this manager, because uh, it's men against boys. He needs to give them a lift, a substitution, I would imagine. Restarting at 2-0. for Chelsea. Fletcher. 22, William. Joe Allen. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Here's William. And the keeper can collect this one. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. Now it's Hesse. Shakiri. And shoots! Stretch by the goalkeeper to push that away from danger. Corner for Stoke City. There's a chance, really, of getting into a scoring position then, but anything but. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. It's a quick break. Now he's looking for support. Good defending. It's an advantage for Stoke City, signals the referee. Brilliant pass, can he finish it? It's not really a way, poor clearance. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. William. The shot's on. Oh, it's off the bar. Fabregas. Aiden Hazard. Goal. Reagan manager loves that kind of goal because it was a real team effort the way they moved the ball about. And once it came to the finish, it was an unerring effort. Two for him on the day. And two very well-taken goals. And here is another angle on that goal. Chelsea really on top form in the first half. And the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Very straightforward piece of goalkeeping as he catches the cross. And the referee has signaled for half-time. 
3-0 is the scoreline at this point. Not often, Alan, do you see one man have one half like he's had. On top of his game out there, and I'm sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat-trick in the second half. You don't often get a first half as one-sided as this one. They've been very good, the team that are leading, of course. Strong play with his back. Space to try and hit it now. And such quality in the build-up and a brilliant finish. A wonderful goal. Hat-trick. Goal number three here. And it's a perfect day for the player. Well, a wonderful achievement to get three goals in a team like this against opposition like this it's a special day certainly is for a special player too a player that uh, is the clinical sort and he's shown us that today oh he's loving it the manager he's seeing his team playing really well just what he was asking for I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Joe Allen, neatly intercepted. Into the attacking third. And shoots! Well, that's the upside of being a goalkeeper. We've seen the downside in some of his work earlier in the game, but good stop this time. Yeah, it was a decent stop. Uh, you'd expect him to make it, but not his day, really, generally. And in it goes. And he's given the free kick. Chelsea, got a bit of a charge now, through midfield. Eden Hazard, what a lovely death finish that was. Chelsea, pretty comfortable now. Oh, not many. I think a lot of people out there now relaxing just a touch. Let's see the replay now. Oh, how about this? Listen to the crowd now. He's coming off, having uh, really taken this game by the scruff of the neck. Oh, he's a real favourite with these fans, an even bigger favourite now after that performance. One team really on their game today, the other very off colour. Comes in strongly. Joe Allen. Kurt Zuma. Hazard, good vision here, has to score, he scored! No keeper in the world could have stopped that up there. I'm not sure he's ever had a day like this, when everything he has touched has turned to goals. Well, his teammates will just want to keep giving him the ball at every opportunity. Well, it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing.
I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Kurt Zuma. Pedro. Here's Hesse. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. He's coming forward. Shots on here. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Pedro. This is how they love to play on the break. Cleverly done with that technique. Put away, but not out of harm's way. On the attack here. Comes in strongly. Joe Allen. Eden Hazard. And Gola Conte. Great team play, Alan. This isn't it. Everyone wants the ball. Yeah, and I think the movement off the ball gives the man in possession. Slipping it through. Great chance. Superb work to reach that great technique and great belief to feel that he could stop the goal. We all love looking at goals, Martin, but there's something special about a defender showing those kind of defensive instincts. David Luiz. Pedro. Good vision. In with a chance. Going to try it. Now he's taken it off his toes and hung on to it. Yeah, no knockdowns there for any lurking strikers. Good goalkeeping. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. And that's a clear foul by David Luiz. Cards out for the Chelsea man. It's yellow. Genuine attempt to go for the ball? Well, I think so. The referee doesn't need to make a, a mountain out of this molehill, but uh, it is a foul. And they're going to take off the forward. Forwards, as often is the case, being substituted. One goal, he might have thought with the time left he might get more, but uh, he's happy to get the one, I'm sure. Yeah, and it was a well-taken goal and a really good performance from him, I thought. Really solid. Well, that'll be a throw. Jordan Shakiri. This has been called a football match, but it hasn't been much of a match-up between the two sides. The winners conclusively at their best. And the losers just aching to hear the final whistle now. The Chelsea fanatics are flying today. And the he's got his fist to it. Is indicated what we get to see, of course, the assistants don't. Whether that'll change down the years, uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, the replay here shows he's got it right. He has. I mean, there was no real goal-scoring chance, but uh, the defence would be pleased that... Uh, their organisation caught him off. Neatly intercepted. On to the attack now. Here's Hesse. And he bangs it away. Last blast on the whistle from the referee. Well, undoubtedly, he was the star man today. Yeah, one of those matches, Martin, where everything he touched turned to gold. It was an impeccable performance. Well, look at that scoreline. And it emphasises what we've seen in the shape of the game as well. Very one-sided. Well, from the first whistle, they were on top and it never altered for the entire 90 minutes. Wonderful stuff.